am Adrian, and welcome to Kiwi's Crochet Corner. Um, if you are new to my channel, um, I usually do yarn and crochet content. Occasionally, I'll talk a little bit about knit. Some haven't finished or some haven't figured out how to do that yet, but I'm, I'm working on it. Um, and if you're not new to my channel and you've been watching for a while, thanks for coming in. Uh, thanks for, you know, keeping up with my channel. Uh, I really do appreciate it. Hey guys, so, um, since my, um, video of my 12 favorite wearable patterns roundup went over with you guys so well, I thought I would do, um, a video on 12 of my favorite, uh, Amigurumi patterns. Um, so some of these are paid patterns, some of them are free patterns. Um, just like before, um, I will, you know, I'll, I'll put a picture of each pattern up here, and all of the information for each pattern will be linked in the description box below. Um, and uh, I guess we'll just start with paid patterns because that's what I have first on my list. Um, and this first pattern, you know, you guys, you guys know I love birds, especially parrots. Um, but it is designed by Moji Moji. Um, now, when this pattern was first released, I got it, um, and it's actually a bundle. It's a bundle of patterns for six different birds, as well as a perch that um, can be worked up. Uh, but when it was first released, I happened to catch it on a, uh, a, when it was first released it was free for um, a temporary period, um, but now it is available through their web, or through their Etsy page, um, and it consists of a, let's see, there's an eagle, there's a cockatoo, um, there's a budgie, uh, a lovebird, it looks like a cockatiel um, and I'm not really sure what this what the orange bird is um, which you'll see like I said I'll, I'll put the pictures up here during editing um, and the pattern is available in both English and French um, and it's currently being sold for seven dollars for the entire bundle um, and it's, it uses American crochet terms, um, and it's a, it's a, it's an instant download once it's purchased through Etsy. Um, so the next one I have is actually one that I just recently purchased and I haven't gotten a chance to play, play with it or work it up. Now, the, 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 the birds... And the, the first pattern, I've only actually worked one of those up, and it was uh, the cockatoo. Um, but this uh, snail stacking toy crochet pattern, um, it's one that I recently purchased. Um, I haven't gotten to play with it yet. It is available for $5.80, um, and it's designed by a shop called Luda's Amigurumi. Now, I do have her actual full name, but there is no way I'm going to be able to pronounce it. Um, and I believe this pattern is available in both English and German. Um, let me see, let me see. English, Dutch, I think Russian. Um, and like I said, that stacking toy is available for $5.80 on her Etsy page. And she's got several that I purchased from her that are just super cute, guys. These these little stacking toys are just too cute. Um, but I think, I definitely think the snail out of all the ones I got is my favorite. And as soon as I get some time, I'm going to work one up just to see how it is. Um... And then the next paid pattern I have is an armadillo pattern. You know, I live in Texas. We have lots of armadillos out here. And for a while, I had an armadillo that would come visit 
my front yard and I named him Ashton and then he got hit by a car he was still alive but he did get hit by a car and he didn't come around much after that um, so it was right around that time that I bought this pattern um, and it is designed by let me check my notes here Kate E. Hancock um, and there, it's actually um, two patterns there's um, one for the mama and one for the baby um, and I have worked this one up I worked it up in uh, shades of orange and then I actually sent it to my grandmother in California um, super cute but I will say this is not a beginner friendly pattern um, it's you know, it's, there's a lot of sewing to it. I will tell you that. Lots and lots of sewing. Um, and it is, uh, her Etsy shop's uh, called Patchwork Moose, um, if you were wondering. But it, it's designed by uh, Katie Hancock. I don't know if I told y'all this, but it, it's currently for purchase um, at six seventy one, And all of these are instant downloads, by the way. Uh, they're, di they're digital patterns. Um, the next one I have is um, a dodo bird by Sweet Oddity Art. I have several Sweet Oddity Art patterns and they are all gorgeous, all super easy to follow. Um, this one is only available in English um, and it is regularly priced at $5 but it's currently 25% off so you'll be able to pick it up uh, for only three dollars and seventy five cents um, and this one I actually did start working it up at one point and then I decided that I didn't like it and I had plans on redoing it and yeah I just haven't gotten around to starting over <laughs> um, so another one that I really really liked um, is a real the realistic octopus crochet pattern by crafty intentions um, and it is available for purchase in the Etsy sh in their Etsy shop for six fifty. Um, and they have a lot a lot of beautiful patterns but this is the only one that I've pur purchased so far um, I haven't worked this one up yet and I can say it's it's not gonna be a uh, a beginner friendly pattern either I know that um, it is available it's it says it's developed by Megan Lapp aka crafty intentions um, and the pattern is written in US terminology um, and the pattern the, the this octopus is actually available in English Spanish German and French um, for those of you that you know are in other countries or don't speak English or you know, you can you can actually pick this one up in, in several different languages, um, but it's also a digital pattern. Um, this one is the um, teddy bear in a clown costume pattern, um, and it is designed by Christy Tulis. I think is how you pronounce her name. Um, and right now you can pick up this pattern for three thirty six. It is f currently fifty percent off, so regularly it's going to be six seventy two. Um, the sale ends in about twenty seven hours, though. So if you guys are interested in this one, now would be the time to pick it up. Um, and it is available in English. Um, I don't see that it's available in any other languages. Um, she does recommend it as an as an intermediate pattern though um, and it uses US crochet terminology as well um, and then this this next one I have is one of the first Amagurumi patterns that I paid for um, this giant panda is designed by hello yellow yarn and I actually have four of their patterns I really like their patterns um, it is uh, three dollars and forty one cents um, super cute. I've only worked it up once, um, and when I put it in my shop, it, it, it sold pretty quickly. Um, it's only available in English, though, um, but it does use, uh, U.S. terminology. 
<clears throat> and let me see the the creepy clown pattern that will be right here um, I purchased that some time ago um, and it is designed by Melinda Kindley but it's not currently available on Etsy anymore um, so I'm not entirely sure where or if you can get this pattern um, anymore uh, I've never worked it up uh, particularly because it does use several different weights of yarn and um, you know, it's just one of those amigurumi patterns that are very advanced and probably will, uh, it, it's definitely an advanced amigurumi pattern. Um, and I, it, it's, it's going to take a long time to work up, so I've never gotten around to it, but it is definitely one of my favorite patterns, um, and I think it would be great to work up sometime around Halloween. I just, like I said, I've never gotten around to doing it. Um, and it was one of my first Amagurumi purchased, or Amagurumi pattern purchases as well. Um, so yeah, there's that. Um, now, before I get into the free patterns that I have here, um, I'm going to take a short break. So I will be back with y'all here in a bit. <laughs> and I'm back. So the next um, four patterns I have are free Amagurumi patterns. Um, and again, I'll, yeah, um, so the Lolly Bunny pattern by Amigurumi today is a free pattern, and I've done it quite a few times. I actually have one currently in my shop right now. Um, now, I, Amigurumi today has a ton of really nice Amigurumi, Amigurumi patterns, and they are all free. Um, but I believe you have to sign up for, um, you have to make an account with them before you can see all of the patterns. Now, they do also sell their, their patterns, um, you know, to, to support the website and things like that. But they're, they're available for free if you, um, sign up for, I guess it's like a membership type thing. But, uh, yeah, I'll leave the link to that one below as well. And, um, actually I think the picture I'm going to put up here is the one that I made. <laughs> this is the most recent one that I made. Um, another one that I really like is, um, Lawrence the Lion by Jess Huff. And I've only actually made that one one time. Um, and, you know, she's got a lot of really nice patterns on her website. Um, I think the first one of her patterns that I ever did was actually, uh, her hippo. Um... That's, that's been a few years back now. Um, and then I have her, I, I did her Rose the Bunny pattern um, in Red Heart Ombre, in a purple Red Heart Ombre. And that, that one's actually in my shop as well right now. Um, I did that, I think, for Easter last year, maybe the year before. I don't, I don't remember. Um, but I know I did it for Easter. Um, and then the next one I have is... Uh, it's an elephant pattern. I believe the pattern is called Gustave. Um, and it's by, um, Amour. Uh, and the pattern is actually for a circus elephant. And it also, you know, it, it includes the ball and everything that's in the picture. Now, um, I've worked this one up. And when I did it, I freehanded a little elephant headdress and, um, a little elephant. I think all those things. They, they, I guess it's not a saddle, um, but it, it, basically, I freehanded an elephant um, costume, like what you would see in uh, circuses back in the day. And then I gl glued a little um, plastic rhinestone to it, and so I dressed that. W when I worked that one up, I dressed that pattern up that way, and it was super cute. Um, and I'm not sure if I have pictures of that anymore or not. If I do, that's the picture I'll use. If not, I'll use the one from the website. Um, and then the last one that I have is uh, Polly the Bee. And it is a doll on a groovy pattern. And it is by Odinka 
Wizen, I don't know how to pronounce that, um, but on her YouTube channel, um, she has a ton, a ton of beautiful amigurumi patterns. Um, most of them, uh, especially the more intricate ones, are broken up into parts like one, two, three, and four. Um, Polly the Bee, I've never actually done. Um, but she has another one that is dragonfly themed that I have done. Um, I actually gave it to Casey. Um, Casey thought it was, apparently I didn't do such a great job because Casey thought I was making Medusa. <laughs> um, but uh, you guys should definitely check her channel out. Um, and if you really like Amigurumi, subscribe. Uh, she's, she's got a ton of absolutely beautiful um, Amigurumi patterns. Um, I hope that the picture that I was able to get is large enough for you guys to see the detail. Um, I do plan on making Polly the Bee and maybe if I can you know get a little better at at these particular amigurumi patterns I'll do a whole set. Um, she's got a bee, she's got a butterfly, she's got a dragonfly um, she's also got um, plant themed amigurumi dolls on her channel um, as well as you know bunny rabbits there's a horse there's a zebra um, and they're all free video tutorials on her channel um, so yeah you guys go check the, those out you know if you're looking for new amigurumi projects these are definitely some of my favorite um, designers and like I said some of them I haven't worked up some of them I have some of them are still on my to-do list um, but yeah, um, so I guess I, I'm going to let you go. Uh, my nieces and my daughter are all playing in the pool, so I'm going to go out and have a good time with the kids, and I'll see you guys in my next video.